So, where are we sitting? We got our first skidoo built. It is the, uh, it is one of the wide track Scandix, uh, two stroke EFI. Here's the thing. Uh, this is supposed to be a full build site. What full, full build site means is that at this particular store, all the skidoos are supposed to come up fully built. Um, they're not, but on top of that, we got something else going on. We have the ones missing their cluster. So now I'm going to have to install the cluster on this guy too. Um, building the skidoo is enough. Now I've got to wait for the electronics and do the electrical too. Motherfucker. So it's been about two weeks since our last trailer. Oh, maybe about a week and a half. And we're currently just trying to clean up from Winter Road because we have skids everywhere. Um, truthfully, I could have started earlier, but I kept getting caravans for my cargo instead of Basler's. I have a Basler coming today so they can take 15 skids with them as well as a bunch of milk crates. So we got a guy tying up the milk crates. I'm working on the skids. I'm working on this pile first. It takes a while to get rid of the stuff because normally you get anywhere from eight to 12 skids per shipment and you can only send 15 back at a time. So if I'm sending 15 back at a time, I can only get three out of this. But because I've been getting caravans for the last while, I haven't had any skids. So, so far I have seven loaded. I have three more to go and I have uh, five in the back, which was from our last Basler. So we're gonna do okay, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. All right, so it is 6 a.m. exactly now. Uh, got up at about 5.30 to get ready for work. Uh, haven't done a lot of vlogs in the last week, actually. Haven't done, there's a lot of things I wanted to do video on, but I just, I just haven't. Uh, I've been having some family problem. And it's a family, pro and I know I usually vlog about it all. It's a good way to, it's good therapy. It's good therapy. But this is one of the things I can't really talk about because anytime I talk about these topics, um, it gets brought up in court. And we're still in a custody battle for my, my oldest son who lives with me. Um, basically, the custody battle is that we're just trying to get custody changed over from my ex-wife to me. He's lived with me now for almost two years. And just trying to get things finalized so that there's no arguments about it. And uh, something we were asked to do was take him in. Then when he was doing well with us, we were told, oh, we, from her, oh, I thought this was permanent. I go, okay, well, if it's permanent, let's make it permanent. And now it's been a $7,000 legal battle because she's just wanted to drag things through the court and make it take as long as it can to do anything. And... Um, yeah, so there was stuff about that that's just been bothering me for the last week. It's put me in a very down place, and um, it snowed again yesterday. A lot of snow. Um, my path is gone. My shovel's covered. My ATVs have snow on them. My boats are once again covered. Um... Yeah, once the, the thaw happens, I actually have to move a lot of those boats over and everything because it's just, it's just time. Uh, now, the, the interesting news about today, we're supposed to get our new truck today. We have a, a Ford F-450. I don't, well, actually, you know what? I shouldn't say it's an F-450. I won't know till it gets here. We were supposed to get an F-450. Uh, we have an F-250 and an E-350 here. Uh, the E350 is our cargo, the F250, our half ton has been being used as cargo, but our half ton has a di broken differential that is about to let go. Um, so it's not the greatest idea to use for cargo. We're supposed to get a brand new F450 this year and, and as a cargo truck. Um, still haven't gotten it delivered from Ford, so one of the other stores in our district has given up theirs that they got last year to us. Um, and what's basically happened is uh, the 
The airline that flies our cargo has been freaking out for over two years now about us getting a proper truck to do cargo that can carry more than six skids because we do about 24 to 30 skids a week in cargo. And the pilots don't want to take as much time to do this because they have all these different communities to get to and I, I fully understand and agree with them. So what's what's happened was they heard that we weren't getting our truck from Ford because the road was about to thaw, and they go, well, we have drivers. If you get the truck, we'll drive it up there. We don't care. And then they heard that, you know, it might not get here in time, and they're like, we, we, will, get, we will get mechanics to take it apart, put it on the plane, fly it there, and put it together on the runway. We are getting you your truck. Well, one of the pilots is actually driving the truck here. Uh, so he left Wednesday, uh, and he'll be here today, which is Friday. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Okay, well, our truck will be here any minute now. Um, <laughs> since the pilot from NSA, North Star Air, that drove it here, he is going right to the airport to get the hell out of here. But he has the keys for the truck and everything else, so, uh, we gotta meet him. Seeing as there's only two licensed drivers at the store, and one of them is in the KFC Busy, I'm taking Alicia up to the airport on the skidoo. And, uh... That's uh, how we have to do things today. And there she is. New truck. Okay, so the tear should be the truck empty. So how does the gross vehicle weight? I, I don't get it. So I'm here in the fridge, just stocking some stuff. Um, so one of the weird things about living on the res versus in the south is you don't have to put in your area code here. Everywhere else I've ever lived, you have to put the area code in to make a call. Um, I sat in the back in my office and I dialed my number eight times trying to call my son. And I kept getting, number cannot be completed if it's dialed. And I'm like, oh fuck, I'm putting in the area code. I do it every time. Okay, so we're on our way out. We got a new padlock for the uh, new truck because it is filled with cargo and I just was busy today so I didn't get it unloaded. Uh, we have the lock and the chain for our door and we have our groceries. So, um, yeah, let's get out of here. Apparently there's three keys for this truck. Um, the pilot only gave us one. So I'm gonna take a quick look-see to see if I can find the other ones. And uh, I'm going to pause you once I get out the door and uh, I'll show you what's in the back of the cargo truck and we'll talk about why it's there. Um, okay, let's just put our groceries down, get this gate closed. So my wife is in there just cutting up some fruit. I'm just going to meet her at home. I'm going to go start dinner. So uh, give me one second. We'll be over over there at the new ride. Okay, so what's in here? Take a guess. Take a guess as to what it's in here. It's not ours. Uh, because NSA, or North Star Air, used one of their pilots to drive it up, they stopped in Red Lake and put some cargo on here. Some of the cargo is ours. The fire hydrants are not. Uh, the fire hydrants are the bands, and yeah, so they weigh about 3,000 pounds, and you need a loader to take them off, and they've tried to get them off before. They've sent them up here, uh, they sent them up here for... Uh, on on one of our cargo planes once and the band wasn't able to get a loader there to get them off so they sent them back and now they sent them back to us going hey you guys get them to get them off i don't even know if that skid's gonna hold them when they pull it off because look it's broken just putting it on there but yeah this is what we uh what we get to deal with you see how far back they go and they looks like they punched a hole in the uh back wall right or am i oh, oh when to do that Am I right or am I just imagining things? Oh, maybe I was just imagining things. I thought I saw a break in the wall, but okay. 